What do you call Professor X when he's being electrocuted? Charles in charge. Ha <laughs> ha! This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book lovers. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And today, I got a modern book. It might even be considered, actually, Copper Age, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, a, it's not a key issue, but I'm going to show you why I got this. This is one of those these books that I'm going to tell you that it pays to communicate with an eBay seller. Now, this eBay seller had this at a buy it now price of, I think it was about $150. There was no option to um, do a best offer. But I thought, you know what? Let me try. I'll send them a best offer. Worst they can do is say no. Well, they actually agreed and sold me the book for the price I was willing to pay for it. So this is why I tell people all the time, do not be afraid to communicate with sellers because you never know what kind of deal you will get. So as you can see, it's got a grade on it. I don't know how good that goes, but it says it's a 9.2. Let me show you what I got, and then I'll tell you the price. Now, this isn't a major key book or anything like that. This is Spider-Man number one, the 90s version, but this is the gold second print. But it was signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane. Now, if you, any, if you know anything about how much Stan Lee charges... For a signature, he charges over a hundred dollars, up to a hundred and twenty-five dollars for a signature. Um, I don't know if Todd McFarlane charges, but back in the days in the nineties, he never charged. So I don't know. But you're talking about the the gas or the train tickets to get to a comic con, the parking, the food that you buy, all these other things. I paid one hundred and four dollars, and let me see if there's change on it. $104.85. So just to show you, here is the receipt. So I offered them $100. It's probably not, yeah, it's coming in blurry. Sorry about that. But I offered them $100. And you see on the back, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Now, I don't know how valid that is, but it says Spider-Man number one. We're at 105 Gold Variant in August 1990, signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane, Dragon Con 2010, Atlanta, Georgia. And they gave it a grading of 9.2. I mean, we'll see. It's sealed and everything. But, I mean, I've have, I have a few of Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane's signatures, and those are legit. So this book is definitely going to be getting graded. Now, obviously, see this book? You you shouldn't send the CGC because it would come back a green label that says writing on front cover because CGC didn't witness it. So even though this may have been sealed by the people who signed it and this may be a legitimate grade and a legitimate authenticity, they still will not give it a signature series. So the only two places that you could send it to would be CBCS or PGX. So since I do a deal with PGX, I'm going to have it sent there, get the signatures verified, and have this book graded. So I paid $104 for this book. So let me know what you think about it. Like I said, it's not a key book. I got it 100% for the signatures. Now, I saw they were selling a bunch of others of these books, and... They had auctions for those. Now, these were after I already paid for this and I bought some other stuff that's on its way. So I didn't want to spend any more money. But they were selling for about $175 to $200 for these signatures. So I think I got a pretty good deal on this. So let me know what you think. Would you have purchased this for the price that I made the offer for? Or even the $150 or $175, I forget which one it was, that they originally had it posted for. But like I said... 
this did not have a best offer. It was buy it now. It had the auction starting at, I think, 150. That's what it was. The auction was starting at 150. It was a buy it now at 175. But it didn't have a best offer. So most people just ignore it and just either pass on it or try and hope for the bid. And you may overpay because once somebody makes a bid, that buy it now price is no longer there. So it can actually go higher than that. So I made an offer. The worst they could say is no. So a lot of times people will say no. But if you hit every once in a while, it makes it worth it. So now I have a Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane signed comic book. Spider-Man's been pretty hot these days. And um, we'll see what kind of value this brings someday. But right now it's going to be a, another one of my thousands of comics in my collection that I'm very happy to have. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to wait until the end so you can see who's this uh, surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber. Let me know in the comment section if you want one. And that's it. So hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. I always appreciate that. Hitting the share button is awesome. Just don't hit the person next to you because we've been all that's not nice. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And poor Spider-Man really needs to get some bug spray. Look at all those bugs all over him. Poor guy.